Hello, beautiful heart and souls. Crystal in here. Welcome to my channel, Tune Into Love. Thank you for joining me for another pick a card reading. This pick a card came through as um, your healing qualities. What are your healing qualities and how are they empowering you, benefiting you and others? Okay, so something your heart and soul wants you to focus on, know about yourself and your amazing ability to not only heal, but to live in alignment with your authentic energy expressing yourself in the way that you were meant to okay <laughs> so we have four different groups to choose from one two three and four take a moment to just tune in allow your body your soul your heart to guide you towards which pile feels the strongest pull for you always trust your intuition of course take what resonates leave the rest Thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing my videos. I truly appreciate your support in that, helping my channel grow, helping these messages reach whomever they're meant to reach. Um, and I will put timestamps in the comments below for all of you. So with that, let's just get into it. All right, group number one. How are all of you amazing, beautiful heart and souls? I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you so very much. So let's see what your healing qualities are, what your amazing quality energy is all about here. Queen of Swords, look at you. Oh, you are wonderful. <laughs> your mind is so powerful. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. So you're very responsible. You're very... Um, it's like I want to say you're a hardworking individual and yet you you don't you don't work hard to the point of being like rigid and you know firm like you're very intelligent you use your mind um in a way that is so intelligently driven I want to say ridden like <laughs> it's like this energy of riding a horse right or you know it's it's simple it's natural and yet it's like the most powerful intelligence to be in tune with okay you're very um you're very much someone who is aligned with tr your own truth and the truth of life and nature. You're very guided in your um, physical foundation and your physical reality. There's a energy here of being very consistent every day in the choices that you make um, when it comes to contributing right to a foundation of love in whatever way that looks at me you know every day it's like you do something to contribute to the benefit of the world you know not just yourself but whatever you're doing for yourself also benefits the world the collective those around you um the way that you tune into your thoughts and the way that you speak to others the way that you communicate with your own soul essence and the earth is very clear the, the communication is very well felt and I feel like you're guided on a daily basis in your own physical body your intuition your instincts and in what steps to take and what responsibilities are truly yours and you know what belongs to other people so you're you're very inspirational when it comes to um the energy of the life force you know the life force sees you and it it wants to be with you and flow through you and work through you so um you're always refining your truth you're interested in the truth speaking your truth you're not really into um superficial conversations too much on the daily basis you'd rather focus on you know what's truly improving your life your physical reality your relationships um with money, with finances, like you you like to invest your money into energies that support the well-being of yourself and others in the world. Um, you like to give and receive money in that way, and you like to be responsible for that quality of energy that um, builds upon quality. So it's like, <laughs> what is your healing quality? A part of it is your amazing ability to really discern the truth and be clear and communicate to people clearly and in truth, which is really appreciated. And also to invest your physical energy into a foundation that's, you know, longevity. It's for the long haul, for the legacy, okay? Listen, you're a great listener, obviously, here with the Queen of Swords. Um, you're very um, clear. Like, you have the ability to very easily and naturally discern the truth. Like, you, you listen, not just with your ears, but you listen with your eyes, your body, um, the way you taste things, the way you touch things. You're very intuitive, very empathic. 
um, and very intellectual when you want to be. And yet I feel like you're, you know, it's like you enjoy being in the physical reality and just in your body and your spirit. You know, this could be anything from just being out in nature, gardening, flowers, whatever. It could be people, it could be creating something with your hands. Like it's something where you, when you're engaged in the physical reality, um, it's like meditation almost. Like everything flows through naturally. Um, and so if you're in your thoughts at all, it's very clear conscience, you know, it's like you're into conscience, consciousness, <laughs> consciousness. And, um, it's like, you're very, you're, you can see and feel people's intentions right below the surface. It's not just surface level with you. Like it's not just words. Like you hear beyond the words. It's like right there where I made a, I was trying to say consciousness and it came out differently. It's like, you're very, um, you're just very forgiving and loving in all of those those wonderful, perfect ways <laughs> that make people feel safe, you know, to communicate with you, even if they don't, you know, understand the language quite so much or they're still learning about it. You don't make people feel bad about, you know, making little simple, honest mistakes, right? Like honest mistakes, like they feel like they can learn and grow with you. They feel like they can move slow and steady with you because you do that with yourself. You're a wonderful listener and I feel like just your presence helps others clear out any sort of um, heavier energies that, that keep us from our clarity, you know, all without you really having to say anything. They, I feel like people can just hear you speaking your truth very effortlessly and it inspires them. And, you know, they look at you like, okay, so what do I need to do? You know, I listen, you know, staying focused in the physical reality in a way that supports your well-being, even if it's your just your finances, your home, um, whatever that is, okay? time to go. So from the angels, I feel like this is, um, you know, you don't allow fear to hold you back. You know, you're in your truth. And when it's time to go or act on something, you're able to just do that because you are so aligned with your truth that there's, you know, there's no room for doubt or worries or fear-based thoughts or negative thoughts in your mind. So it's like you go with things when they feel right, you know, it's, it's affirmed. Okay. Or nithomancy omen. So it's like there's, um, it's almost like you're like a warning beacon, you know, if, if it's not all right with you, everyone's like, well, I'm not doing it then. <laughs> okay. It's like you can feel and pick up on what's truly a warning, like to heed the warnings or, you know, when you just know the energy is not right, like you're very clear on that deceptive type of energy or illusion energy where there's nothing to gain from it except for like more confusion or something. So if you're like, that's no, that's like, I'm not doing that. You're not in that. It's time to like, if it's not a yes for you and it's a no, I feel like people are like, they trust you. You know, they're like, well, even if we don't understand, they know, like, I don't know how they know, but they do. And every time they're right. So <laughs> we have the cornucopia. So I feel like a part of your healing essence and quality is really rooted in the truth of life, you know, the abundance of life, the abundance, the quality of energy that is the life force energy. The number 11 here, it's like you're very in tune with um, the balance and harmony of nature, the masculine, the feminine, the give, the receive, you know, understanding, planting the seeds and not just planting the seeds it's bigger than that, right? It's like the energy of the environment, the energy of the animals, everything is felt. And it starts from within, you know, by really truly trusting ourselves and learning about our truth and speaking our truth, acting in our truth, focusing on the truth, not just of our own journey. It's like the whole humanity, right? The earth, like us as one living being. So there's an abundant harvest type of energy with you where it's like you are always, it's like you have the infinite well there's no restrictions to your infinite self just continuing to flow through. And so it's, it's really beautiful to see the queen of swords because when you're, when you, when you're in your essence, you know, you are, it's like, you're an example for what is true for all of us. You know, we are all this cornucopia of beautiful life force energy within. And because of that, you're very abundant in your life and you attract abundance, the quality of abundance, not just things and material objects or, you know, whatever. It's like, you're very clear in your truth. And so you're attracting like, you know, it's, it's quality versus quantity. And in that it's, it's everything, right? It's like everything that is truly desired. 
Um, and I feel a lot of abundance, you know, just on the side, really flowing <laughs> into you here, towards you, around you, from you, you know, your, your energy is very abundant, which is very healing. You know, there's no lack that that's an illusion. Um, you know, abundance is the truth and it's truly all about being rooted in your, you know, your connection to the nature of who you are, humanity, the nature of earth, the nature of love. Okay, love is the cornucopia. We have cow, the cow, nourishment, abundance, asking and receiving. You know, the cow is always seen as a sacred animal in so many different, from so many different perspectives. You know, it's a very sweet and gentle animal. It's very docile. And yet it just, it grazes on grass. You know, it produces milk that humans enjoy <laughs> and also meat. However, you know, it's like appreciating the animal as not just a, a resource for yourself. There's like, I feel this energy where, you know, we respect animals. We love animals. We don't necessarily want to eat them or steal from them. Um, there's a lot of humans that do though. And so I feel like you're, you're, you know, it's like you, you can relate to the animals, <laughs> so to speak. I don't know how that's, how that makes sense necessarily, but it's true. You know, it's like, we're not here to just use each other. We're not here to abuse each other, use each other, take from each other. We're here to give and receive equally and naturally. And, you know, it's like you recognize where that comes from, you know, that disconnect from our heart and soul. And so you're very connected to it. You nurture it. And I feel like your soul, the universe, the angels, the guides, they all see you as someone very solid in your everyday life, really contributing to the, to the dream of our world, which is, you know, humanity being one beautiful consciousness, living in harmony and balance with one another. And we may never reach that goal in our lifetime. However, you know, we're here to contribute to it in whatever way. And every time we do, which becomes our natural state, it's just we see the magic around us. We see that the world's not perfect. However, we are doing our part every day to contribute to a more safe, comforting, beautiful world, you know, because the earth, the animals are already in their pure state. They're, they're fine. It's the humans that come in and, you know, disrupt everything with our, you know, pollution and our noise and our negativity and all of that. So it's like, whenever you need anything, it's there for you. And it's not just there for you. Like it's nourishing to your heart and soul, like the cornucopia, it's the quality of energy. So you're very healing in that way to the animals, to humanity, to nature. Um, they see you like if if i if if they were seeing you from their perspective they would see you as we would see the cow in this picture you know it's like if you were thirsty the cow would give you some milk and if the cow was thirsty you would give her some water you know it's like this very equal um awareness that you're both sacred beings and each are equal in terms of you know the life force energy and we all have a right to be here and live safely and happily so this is this is beautiful. You're very nourishing to people's heart and souls. And you also, you know, are very aware of like the importance of really nurturing your heart and soul and not just giving your power away or giving your energy away without anything in return. You're in alignment. And that's where the Queen of Swords comes in. You've really had to use your discernment and speak your truth and be in your truth and keep your truth to yourself at times. Like there's been a lot of experiences where you've been able to really um, employ the, your masterfulness in terms of your mental realm. And you're very much seen as someone who knows what he or she is talking about, okay? And then we have, <laughs> this is from the Sacred Nature's Reflections um, Oracle deck that I created. And this one is the only card of its kind in the deck, but it says, Cannabis, oh sweet leaf, how I love thee. Let me count the ways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cannabis is good for you. Count cannabis good. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Um, well, uh, 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 you know, like count cannabis, there's a healing energy here with the earth. Okay. You may be into alternative medicines, alternative ways of healing that are really in tune with the earth that, you know, it's like, there's a, there's a transition here between, um, our medical structures and pharmaceuticals and really remembering our, our connection with nature and how there's a plant that heals everything. So you may be someone who's into more natural healing modalities, herbs, flowers, um, yoga, meditation, teas, tinctures, making things from the earth, like growing your own food and creating meals that are full of love. Like it's the energy, the essence of the life force energy that you're really in tune with. And it's very healing. Okay. So 
this is very interesting. I don't know if you, you know, if you're into that. <laughs> However, it's representative of really um, understanding and feeling and knowing the healing power of nature and how we can heal our bodies, our minds, our hearts, our souls through being in tune with nature, through being in tune with the sacred life force energy, no matter what form it shows up in. We can feel the distinction. We can feel, you know, the difference between it's like even this is inside a house with a window looking out at nature. You know, I feel like, you know, the answers are in nature, not inside the house. We open the window. We open the door. We go outside. We breathe in the fresh air. We breathe in the nature. We eat the plants. We eat the, you know, the, the fruits and the berries and the vegetables. And we know, too, that when you grow your own food, your own herbs, whatever it is, that quality of life force it's a part of you right so if you're in a loving state if you're in a state of your truth really listening and tuning into the cornucopia the nourishment your plants pick up on that energy and when you eat that when you share that food with others they feel it too everything is energy it's all transferring information okay so you're very healing in a lot of ways and i feel like you know, the earth very much recognizes you. And also with the angels here, like you're very in tune with your higher self guidance, your angelic guidance, your spirit team, however you perceive them, you know, around you, like when they tell you it's time to act on something or go, you can recognize that it's your higher self speaking to you, your soul speaking to you. And I feel like you can also recognize like, it's like you're able to be in the earth completely that way. You're able to be engaged with the earth, the people, um, what it is that you came here to do in the physical reality. There's a very clear knowing. You have a very clear knowing of your higher guidance and wisdom. So keep being you, okay? Because it is very healing. Like your energy radiates out and it's like you can you can see yourself as someone like who's just walking through a crowd and just being yourself, you know? Maybe you're in a farmer's market, for example, and you're just enjoying all of the delicacies and you know handmade homemade goodies full of love and just amazingness and it's like your energy is felt you know if people aren't feeling well like maybe they just feel better and they don't even know why that it's maybe because they're standing next to you like I feel like your energy is that powerful okay so um, everything here is amazing and if you ever feel um, a little restricted in any way like it's just a, simply for you a matter of like going outside and connecting with nature it, it really brings you right back into the truth of who you are and you inspire so many that way but not only that your your energy is just healing you have a healing quality to you that's very in tune with life and and the earth and being an amazing human being so thank you so much group number one i hope that this message resonated and brought you just affirmation and <clears throat> just knowing and reassurance to your heart and joy and, you know, just remembering how abundantly beautiful your energy is. It's such a beautiful quality, very authentic to you. So keep it authentic. Keep it real. <laughs> Thank you for being such an amazing listener too. And, you know, nourishing our collective human consciousness with such quality energy. I really appreciate you. And thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. That helps me tremendously and helps others just like you. So thank you so much. And I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. Until then, keep taking amazing care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, group number two. How are all of you beautiful heart and souls? So thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see what your healing qualities are that your soul wants you to stay focused on here, okay? We have the moon. Moon, wow. We have five of swords. Detached from drama, Pallas Athena. You are very, very intuitive. Look at this, see only love. So let me just... Ooh, you are like, you're like a conflict resolution master <laughs> and no, and no one really can under, like, it's like, there's, there's this energy to you that is very clear when it comes to like, you know, where conflict is rooted and you also understand like the power of your inner guidance, your intuition, your spiritual gifts, your unseen qualities, um, Dowsing rods, seeker, a man holding a heart, number 45. 
the dear gentleness diplomacy. You're very diplomatic. You're a very good mediator. Very good mediator. Like, I feel like you're one of those people where, you know, everyone wants to tell you what's going on because they know somewhere deep inside, even though they don't realize it, that you only see love and that, you know, it's like there's this energy to you. <laughs> Man holding a heart. So, you know, this is like with the deer here. This is a gentle soul, a very sensitive soul, very um, romantic, very loving, and very secure in your love. Like you're very secure in your love. See only love. You, you see only love. You're able to see beyond the surface of people and their flaws and their imperfections and their like silly human ways. <laughs> It's like I'm I'm almost seeing like Saturday night, Saturday Night Live where you know they make fun of us as like all of our flaws and quirks, but it's so funny, you know. It's like a part of the human story. It's what makes us, you know, it's what gives us our character. And if we were content on the inside, we wouldn't be so hateful and cruel to each other in conflict. We would just be ourselves and be like, oh well, that's so and so. They're just you know that's who they are, or they're in a mood, or whatever it is, you know. I feel like you're, um, it's like you love people and you understand, you know, the foundational energies, you understand where the conflict is arising from. And there are, there are times I feel like there's nothing you could say. No one was listening. And so you are someone who it's like you seek the peace and, and, um, solitude of your own being first and foremost. So it's like, you know, you can't solve everyone's problems, even though you may have all the answers. <laughs> I feel like you're someone, you're very similar to me, right? It's like, we understand things. And if you're trying to explain something to someone that's not ready to hear the explanation or doesn't want to be, you know, told anything else, you know, it's like you understand that you, you don't, you don't get engaged with it. You try not to take it personal in any way and you just let it be, you know, it's like, you're not there to offer advice unless it's wanted. Right. So you've learned to, to detach from drama to, you know, it's like, I feel like there was a period of time here, the swords up, you know, and here it's down. It's like, you know, there are, there are relationships that you've had in your life where it's like, you know, everything, everything comes back around, you know, once people cool off and settle down and we allow each other to grow at our own pace, you know, it's like, we understand that we're naturally, we're soulmates. We're all here to teach each other something and how we choose to respond to each relationship, each conflict that arises. You know, this is all based on our own programs and mental thoughts and, you know, how we perceive the world. And sometimes we don't agree with each other. And I feel like you understand it on such a deep level why that is. And so it doesn't bother you. Maybe it used to, but that's what's allowed you to have this amazing, compassionate, strong, romantic, loving, deep heart, you know? And I feel like when you love someone, you love them. Like they're, it's forever. And even if they're in a state of conflict, like you can let that, let it be and just trust that, you know, if it's meant to be and their heart is open at some point in time that, you know, you'll be there. Like you're one of those beautiful people who really only see love, you know, the dear gentleness diplomacy, you would, you would rather, um, let things be than create more imbalance or disharmony within a relationship. And in that way, it's very healing because you're only contributing to the love and nurturing of it. And you're not giving it a time limit and saying things have to be this way right now, or I'm out the door, you know, it's like, okay, I respect your perspective. I can see, you know, it's like, you don't even have to explain yourself. However, I'm sure there've been times there's the dousing rods here of seeker. And it's like, trust your own instincts, your intuition, your body, you're always right on the money. Like you, whatever you're feeling intuitively, it's right. It's always right. It's like your intuition is always right. And you don't need to convince anyone or prove it because you've learned in the past, like even in doing that, like even if you know something's right and you're like, no, I am right. Like it doesn't seem to matter if someone else is stuck in the perspective that they're right and only they're right. Right. It's like you've learned so much and you haven't allowed it to distort yourself. And through this too, you're, you're, there's so many, you're like a mystery that doesn't need to be solved. <laughs> I feel this is really good. I feel like you're really in tune with who you are. Like you're really comfortable in who you are and you trust like everything that's meant for you. 
it just naturally flows into your life. You're very gentle. Um, you tread lightly. You know, you don't leave a big, huge impact or footprint wherever you go. You're not destructive at all. Like your energy is very um, beautiful. It's very sacred. It's very healing. And I feel like you're one of those people as well that, um, you know, you're choosing, you know, by your own free will choice, which doesn't, it, it just feels natural to you. Like it's just something, you know, to allow the right people to be attracted to you and you to them. It's like effortless. There's no going out and searching for someone or anything like that. It's like you, this, the dousing rods card here, the seeker, it's like you're moving with your intuition, your body's instincts, what feels right within your own skin, your own bones. And that is a sure thing, right? So it's very healing because you're saying to the universe, to yourself, I'm aligning with that, which is right for me, which in itself is, you know, it allows you to have your heart open, which is the healing energy of, you know, who we are. We're transmuters, we're transformers, we're receivers. We, we are creators, we're lovers, we're human beings. And it's learning to live in balance and harmony with our environment, with the other life forces that are around us. You know, it's not just all about being human, although, you know, it is for us. It's like, there's a recognition here. I just, I feel this like, um, supportive energy in the security, the foundation of our, you know, our true heart's desires, which is living in contented peace and beautiful nature and being able to, you know, appreciate the animals and their beauty and what they do for the earth and appreciate, you know, the love and the quality of energy that we are. Um, if you're a woman watching this, this is like, I feel like you have a man in your life that is just so, there's such a supportive, loving energy there. And it's so romantic and it makes you feel um, content and desirable. And yet you don't need to go out and, you know, show it off and yet wherever you are, it's like you're, it's like the life force is seen so clearly through you that it unconsciously inspires other people without you even saying a word. And if you're a man here, it's like you, you are being recognized as like truly appreciating. Like I'm seeing Pallas Athena here. There's this balance in the masculine feminine energy um, where you're truly supporting each other. And, you know, the feminine is more receptive in the consciousness in terms of, you know, the thoughts that are nurturing to our, our well-being. And the masculine is more conscious of like the physical well-being into the foundation, the home, that sort of thing. I just feel like there's, um, it's like, it's like the warrior is within you and <laughs> it's there whenever, you know, it's like always supporting you. And yet on the outside, you're very um, approachable. You're very safe. Your, your energy is, is very relatable no matter who it is. And it's because you see only love. And so I just feel like there's um, like your soul is really just reminding you as well because you are this beautiful healing quality, there's this quality essence to you to always trust your instincts. Like no matter what anyone else says over, you know, any thoughts, like your body is always going to tell you exactly what is right for you, that you're right where you're supposed to be. If you ever feel uncomfortable in your body, you know, it's like, you know, that it's, it, there's something in the environment that's not in alignment with you. And so it's like, there's no drama that needs to be played out. It's simply a matter of you recognizing it. And then you're like, okay. And so you, then you follow your instincts, right? There's no hard feelings. You're not taking it personal. Um, and th it's meant to be this way. I feel like you're meant to be sort of unseen in a way. Um, very intuitive. And yet at the same time, these are your spiritual gifts that are allowing you to truly unfold into who you are as just a very healing presence on earth and within your own life, which allows you, it's like, it's being in full alignment, full alignment with your soul, your purpose, your joy, your experience, your journey, whatever it is. And it's through the challenges, you know, that have allowed you to really, um, experience what the true love is. Okay. So this is, I, this is a picture I took in, um, up in Wallowa Lake and, northeastern Oregon and it's a reflected image obviously but it's just there's so much clarity you know and, and it's up in the mountains I'm feeling a lot of clarity in your in your well-being like everything mind body heart and spirit and it's you know is this the sky or the lake or what is it you know it's like there's there's a um 
there's just a balance and a cohesiveness here between your physical reality and your spiritual reality, okay? Let go, embrace transforming. Letting go is never easy until you do. Then ease washes over you, transforming you. Trust the mystery of love. Always practice love in, always worthy, always desired. Embrace love in. I love this. Let go, embrace transforming, embrace love in. So this is really beautiful. I feel like um, because you embrace the love within yourself, it is felt collectively in those around you, or whatever consciousness that you're tuned into, it's felt on the inside like so surely it's like you're a presence of like true love you know when it's like I'm feeling as a woman you know if this man were to be looking at me holding a heart like I feel like he sees me you know and that in itself is like sometimes all it takes for us to really make amazing changes in our lives just to have someone see us and you do it in such a way where it's like you see yourself on the inside and that is felt it ripples out to all those around you which creates more harmony and balance around you than you could ever imagine you know people feel it they pick up on it you feel it inside and it reassures you it goes back and forth um, and there's just this beautiful gentle way about you where you have a way of being very um, kind and um, diplomatic, you know, and it's like, I feel like if you ever feel like you're not in a kind state, like you remove yourself or you take yourself like where you can be back in your, you know, feeling like yourself again, you never project it out on anyone. And that's really beautiful. Okay. So this is just amazing. Transforming, letting go is never easy. And that is a part of your amazing healing quality is you know, you're able to let go and because you realize we don't need to hold on. What's meant to be is already. And, you know, when, when there's people in our lives and there's just conflict, if we're meant to be, that conflict's going to resolve naturally in its own time. And that allows each person to grow in their own way and learn at their own pace. And if you love someone, you love them. It's not about how, you know, if they don't love you back, it's nothing personal. You know, it's like, I feel like you've learned so much and really learned to trust your heart, your soul. And, you know, letting go is never easy until we do it. It's so true because then you realize, you know, once you let go of everything, the love that you feel is still there and whatever wasn't love, it just, you know, it's, it's we're we don't, we only have the love now to focus on, you know, and if it wasn't love, it's, it's like, we're okay with it. We understand how it was you know, somehow distorting our own authentic flow, not by fault of anyone. It's just like recognizing, you know, what we're willing to, what we're willing to feed and nurture. And you're, you're, you know, it's like you see that it's as simple as just listening to your own heart because it's natural, you know, it's natural to feed the love, to see only the love. And that's when things really flow. You don't have to think about it. You know, it's the thinking about things that get us into that conflict. So amazing message. Thank you so much for being you, for doing all that you do. And just know too, like what is coming for you, unfolding for you in your life is a reflection of all of these things that you feel inside. Um, I feel like for you, and it's like this wants to come through for you. It's like there is so, like the relationships that you're attracting into your life are so beautiful. It's like quality versus quantity. Like the people that you're attracting, even if it's just a few in your everyday life or whatever, it's like so satisfying to your heart and spirit that it just feels like the whole world is yours. It really does. And I just feel a lot of calm energy, a lot of fun, like maybe even going on adventures and just being out in nature with someone special or, or a couple people even, and just enjoying yourself. Like I really feel you enjoying yourself. Like just having fun with people, you know, learning things, seeing new things that you've never seen before because you're not, you know, you've been through this phase of drama in your life. So you've really learned what it means to be a friend, have a friend, what true companionship is, what true, you know, quality of life experiences. So it's a very healing quality. And, you know, you want to, it's like when you're connected to those you're meant to be with you, you are, you are constantly um, empowering each other from the inside out and, 
that's what makes you so beautiful. You know, that's your natural energetic flow, very high quality, very wonderful, you know, very fun to be with out in nature. I love dousing rods. They're so fun to play with. So <laughs> I feel like you are a dousing rod yourself, right? It's like the seeker, you know, what you seek is seeking you. <laughs> There's just a fun quality that you're really enjoying right now. And it's very healing, you know, humor and love and it's genuine. It's authentic. So good for you. And thank you so much for being you and for, you know, embracing life and, and transforming, letting go of the old, welcoming in the new and just seeing how it just transforms the old into the new. It's just this continual transformation and growth and expansion and refining and then intimacy. It's like you're, you're, you're good. You're very good. <laughs> So that is your message. I truly hope it resonated. Take what did resonate. Leave the rest behind. And I thank you all so much for tuning in, for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. Um, I truly appreciate you for that. And it really does help the channel grow. And for the others like you that are looking for these messages, <laughs> seeking them to find them too. So thank you so much. I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. And until then, just keep doing you. Take very good care of yourself. And I'll see you next time for the next Pick a Card. All my infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, beautiful heart and souls. How are all of you? Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So let's see what your healing qualities are, what your heart and soul wants you to know about your healing qualities. We have the sun, which is absolutely beautiful. We have the hanged man. I feel like you are like a ray of sunshine in people's lives, especially when they feel like they're a little bit stuck or hung up or they don't know what to do. I feel like they see you as like this bright beam of light, always positive, always reminding them that everything's going to be okay. Like this temporary situation, it's maybe, you know, time to look at things from a new perspective. You see eye to eye with people. You see them as equals. You have a childlike spirit that's very mature and you're just, you're, you have a, a way of, um, I love this. It's like the, the halo here and then the sun. It's like when people are upside down or seeing things from, you know, a negative standpoint or they're hung up and it's just like, they're kind of like stuck in their head, you know, like hanging upside down and all the thoughts are like, it's almost like. I'm, I'm feeling like thoughts like draining to the brain here and there's like a halo. It's like, oh, you know, it's like we've got to see eye to eye and they're here, you know, looking, looking at things from upside down <laughs> and all they see is you, you know, it's like, it's like, what's the alternative, you know, to look back at the negative and the dark and the scary. It's like they see you and they feel hope. They feel inspired. They feel, um, like you see them and they can have, you know, it's like it helps them shift their attitude and their perspective. So I feel like you're one of those people. Um, it's like, you may not even realize it, but people really do feel inspired by you. They really do appreciate your passion, your authenticity, your childlike spirit, your connection to nature, like feeling joy in the, you know, just being in nature and appreciating a beautiful day and hanging out with somebody in a very authentic way. Okay. Stay focused. You're a very focused person when it comes to what's important to you, your priorities, and that's what allows you to be a ray of sunshine. You know, it's like you know that you're investing your time and energy wisely into your life and your relationships and everything that's, you know, a priority to you, everything that's important to you that supports your well being, your foundation. And I feel like there have been times in your life where you really, you know, felt like there was divine intervention really causing you to have to you know, look at something for a while from a new perspective. So you've gained perspectives of the world of people of yourself in a way that's very genuine and authentic to you. You realized you had to go within and really get to know your own authentic self. You've put the work in, you've done a lot of focus on positivity and manifesting and, um, you know, creating the life that you feel in your heart is true. And so I feel like there's, um, you know, this is also advice from the Ascended Masters to stay focused no matter what on what you know to be true and what's important to you because you are such a a friendly, you know, fun person to be around that sometimes, you know, it's like if someone's hung up, right? Like they, it's like you kind of feel like even though you love them and want to hang out with them, there's like an energy where if they are with you, they might just like, it's like 
they're not focused on their priorities. And so they may be talking about, you know, things that are just kind of weighing you down a little bit. And I feel like you have a good balance of knowing, you know, it's like, you don't feel, you don't feel like, um, drained or anything like that. Like you're like the sun, like this infinite source. And you just have a way about you because you are so focused on what is important to you. You don't have to worry so much about, you know, feeling stuck anymore, hanging around. And yet, because you were there at one point in time, you understand, like, I feel like, um, the universe, you know, your soul is guided you in such a way where you get to now just be truly authentic and in your essence and people can watch you from a distance and it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't distract you from what you're truly, you know, focused on in your joy. Okay. Law of attraction. Yep. <laughs> I feel like you're very masterful in the law of attraction. You've really um, given yourself the time and focus, you know, to experiment and play around and really believe in something that's worth like I feel like you you don't need to believe in it as much as you know it is to be true you know through staying positive and being in your spirit and being in your authenticity you've naturally attracted really positive thoughts and um, ideas and inspiration and consciousness and people and so I feel like you're like a master of the law of attraction which is very beautiful because I'm seeing nature here. It's like everything is benefiting from your positive attitude in life, your positive outlook um, and, and really recognizing people, seeing them for who they are and not just, you know, what they have to offer the world or to you. It's like, you see people, you see the sacredness within. I'm seeing the eyes here in the focus and, you know, everybody feeling nurtured and loved and seen and also everyone around you successful and, you know, so it's like you've surrounded yourself with very successful consciousness and people and um, the law of attraction. You know, it's like attracting the, the life force energy and giving the life force energy. There is an infinite supply here. It's just, you know, a love, peace, harmony. So it's really wonderful. And anytime you feel, you know, like you need to attune your energies, you do that. You know, you connect with your inner self, your your higher self, your guides, the earth, whatever it is that you do. Um and it's like you can you know how to fine tune yourself, which is really beautiful. Palmistry, interpretation. You're really good at interpreting things. You're very good at interpreting different energies. I feel like even different um, types of alternative, you know, what we we'll, we'll call alternative, but it's like consciousness, metaphysics, um, philosophy, different ways of energy healing and working. Like I feel like there, you have a lot of knowledge in all of these areas, which is another. Um, quality that's allowed you to maintain your authenticity, your childlike spirit. And it's given you this, you know, expanded perspective and view of the world and, you know, all of the different modalities and, you know, cultures and ways of life. And it's all about balance and harmony, truly at the root of it. It's not so much about the teaching itself or, you know, the, the custom or whatever it is. It's like, what is at the root of it? The energy, the, the healing quality, the love quality, the manifesting, you know, the life force energy strategy number 21 i feel like this also allows you to always have a strategy and the wind fairy <laughs> thoughts words intellectual analysis it allows you to be very um, clear in your consciousness and your intellect um, you're very intelligent you may read a lot and study a lot and learn a lot and it's not to be anything other than just your best self and really you enjoy i feel like you enjoy the process of learning you enjoy things that are outside the box as well um, because you understand there's so many perspectives, you know, we all have a different perspective and there's not just one way that works. There's many ways that work and they can all work together in such a balanced way that make it more fun. A lot of variety, you know, it's kind of boring to do the same thing over and over. So I feel like there's a lot of variety here in your life that you um, embrace the quality, the life force energy, which opens you up to so many different things, which keeps life fun and exciting like a child. And here is strategy. It's like, but when it's, you know, when there's something important going on, you're able to stay focused and also, you know, maybe even create a strategy, align with strategy, come up with the strategy for the actual manifestation or dream or whatever it is to materialize, to happen, to unfold. And, you know, you know what you're talking about. Like you, you are receiving very divine thoughts and consciousness because it is your, you know, free will, like desired intention to connect in with the growth of humanity, with the growth of the collective. Um, it's really beautiful here. And I feel like, you know, when, when you're strategizing and it's, you know, it's about being in, you're like, you're so in tune, you're so in tune that when you start strategizing, it's almost like the wind, the wind 
picks up and, you know, as it blows by you, you're like, ding, you know, it's like, oh, that's it. And you know what to do. And, you know, as long as you stay focused and true to yourself, um, everything just flows for you. And I just feel a lot of, um, it's just so beautiful with the palmistry interpretation card here. You may be, um, learning more about your own, just your own spiritual gifts, your own nature, your own authenticity, maybe looking into palm reading or like going to tarot, you know, doing tarot readings, just like things that affirm you that are not necessarily mainstream. They're more, um, they're more ancestral, right? They've been around for thousands of years. Like this is like a part of our, our, like our human magic and our consciousness. It's not just like all wooey and taboo. And you've learned to take what resonates with you and just to let the rest be, you know, because not everything works the same for you that it does for me. And, you know, for them, it's like, I feel like through your, um, first and foremost, your connection to your authenticity, what, what truly brings out the positivity in you naturally, it's allowed you to focus in such an intellectual way. It's like going to school every day and you're one of those students who just loves showing up to class because it's a subject or a topic you really love learning about. So you're very much drawn to what you love learning about. Even if others aren't into it, it's irrelevant because it's like your soul guides you to learn certain things. And you know, too, like that you may not it's, it's like not even about agreeing or disagreeing with all of the subject matter that's in a, or like the, all of the subject matter that's in a specific, you know, subject or whatever it is. It's like, whatever you're learning, you know, you take what's right for you and that's all that you need to do, you know, and, and it gives you perspective on other people and how they're doing it. And it's none of it's negative. It's all very positive. What works for you is wonderful. What works for them is wonderful. And because you each are, you know, tuned into something different, even though it's still operating from the foundation of love, then that's how you can strategize so well, right? It's like one person may be a palm reader, another does tarot, there's an event and, you know, everyone's benefiting from sharing their gifts, their talents and learning something new about themselves. And just because there's a message out there, it doesn't mean, you know, that, that it's, it's like, you know, to just truly it's like <laughs> everything is information. And so you really know for yourself, you affirm for yourself, no matter what anybody says. And you also appreciate the messages, even if it doesn't resonate with you completely, because you have such a deep understanding of how other people hold other perspectives. And it's not negative. It's just their experience. And so I don't know. It's just very beautiful. It's very beautiful. I very much resonate with you. <laughs> this is a picture of a leaf, obviously mirrored. Um, and I just love it. It's such a beautiful, nature is so beautiful, even in its, you know, decomposing state, I want to say. There's almost just this energy here of like, you you are able to transform energy from negative to positive, and yet it brings like a neutrality to it in a way that everyone feels resonant. I don't know how to explain that, but it's really beautiful. Cycles renew appreciation. It says, a leaf like this is nothing new. However, have you ever seen one quite like me? Can you ever really truly ever know just which way the leaves will fall or blow? Can you ever really truly know for sure? No one really seems to really know or ever really sees all the fancy decorations in me except you do. Now, somehow, I love putting on my show for you, even after I fall to the ground. Appreciate your beauty and your journey, no matter what love, Find the beauty in cycles. See the beauty in change. Be the beauty always. Enjoy me now. Enjoy me anew. Enjoy me because I am beautiful too. Just nature doing what natures do. <laughs> Love a leaf like this. Okay? Cycles renew appreciation. There's something here about you where you have like complete acceptance of your life journey and all of the cycles you've been through, the different perspectives that you've had the opportunity to see through, witness, you know, through the different like relationships and experiences and situations and just whatever has been going on in your life. And I feel like there's this quality to you that is so authentic and it's so healing because it gives people permission to be authentic as well and to see you you know, maybe, maybe you're perceived as a little bit different because you're, um, maybe more spiritual and more, more into being open to, you know, just the expanded consciousness of humanity. But I love this. It's like, you never know where the leaves will blow 
And with the Wind Fairy here, it's like the consciousness is always with us, you know, the ideas, the solutions, the inspired, all of that. And because you're in tune and open and receptive to that, it's like those ideas are just they just flow into you. And really you're just focused in your joy all the time. You're, you know, every day waking up and focusing on your joy. That's what is so wonderful about you. Okay. So just know that, you know, this amazing connection to your soul, your inner child, your positivity, there is nothing that you cannot do in this life, whatever it is. It's like you have a way of seeing the beauty in everything and transforming things into something new. It's like recycling something or refurbishing something. You know, you appreciate it. It's like an old chair, um, you know, that needs some love and you finish it all up and decorate it. Like there's something about you where you see, you know, you appreciate life. You appreciate the beauty. You appreciate the quality, the craftsmanship, you know, the energy that other people put into making the world a better place. And that's, you know, you're so connected to that energy and it supports you as well. So I just feel like you're, um, just a very cool person. <laughs> I really like you. <laughs> I think this is really beautiful. Okay. So, and I do feel um, moving forward, you know, in the near future, there is this beautiful strategy that you're a part of that you're creating and to stay focused on what you're doing and to, you know, it's like understanding that whatever time you're spending, um, kind of just internal in your world, witnessing, observing things, it's only deepening your ability to manifest all that's true for you. And, you know, seeing things renewing and seeing things as cycles and, the energy of appreciation and gratitude is so strong within you that, you know, the thoughts, the ideas, the words, the affirmations, the learning about yourself, your life path, your life journey, it's just absolutely beautiful, okay? Like, I just see so much returning to you, and it's your desired experience. It's the quality of your energy. It's the sun, okay? So, how beautiful is this? Thank you so much for being you, and staying true to yourself, staying focused on, you know, the love and the positivity. We really appreciate that about you. I do very much. So keeping the airwaves clean and, you know, love in the air. <laughs> I love it so much. And even the leaves, you know, appreciating the beauty of fall and we're coming into that time right now. So, you know, it's just appreciating the earth, the life force, our nature. So Thank you so, so much. I truly hope this message resonated and just brought you affirmation, support moving forward to continue staying true to your beautiful heart and soul. Thank you all so much as well for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the videos. It truly helps my channel grow and the messages reach those who are meant to receive them as well. So thank you so, so much. And um, until next time, I'm sending you all my infinite love looking forward to the next message that comes through for all of you and just keep taking very good care of yourselves i'll see you again very soon for the next pick a card infinite love always peace hello group number four how are all of you beautiful heart and souls thank you so much for tuning in i truly appreciate each and every one of you so let's see what your healing qualities your healing energies what your heart and soul wants you to know about your healing qualities we have the Queen of Rods, Shadow Queen. Look at this page of page of Wands. Oh, you are um, you are very, very, uh, very warm, very charismatic. You're very like you have a you have this energy to you that's very attractive um, when it comes to you know, having fun in a way that's like very intimate and yet abundant. Like there's a, like a sassy vibe or a, um, it's like a very attractive type of attitude, <laughs> which the shadow queen and king both have. And it's because they've been there, you know, there's this inspiration that comes from deep within you that is so attractive. You know, it's like fire, you know, fire is wonderful and it's beautiful and it can be so, um, transforming. It can be so healing and yet it can also burn you. It can burn you up, <laughs> it can burn others, you know, so there's, we have to learn about our own power, our own inspiration. And I feel like you're someone who's really uh, become very masterful in that. Um, you're very aware of the power that's within you. You're, you're, you're <laughs> inspired, passionate, 
very confident ideas. You're very confident in who you are and what you know to be true. And I feel like you're also, <clears throat> excuse me, it's like you're very relatable to other creators, other people who are very inspired. Um, I feel you're very connected to nature. You really appreciate the quality of nature, um, you know, the materials, the different things that allow you to really create your dreams and share them with others. And I feel like you're someone who likes to share your dreams and inspirations with others who know what it's like, who have been through hard times too. You know, it's like there's this relatability where it's not all pretty all the time. It takes hard work and blood, sweat, and tears at times, you know, and these ideas are divinely guided. They come from within us. And so they're sacred to us and they mean a lot, right? So it's like, she may be very nurturing and wonderful, but she's not going to sit there and, you know, spend her energy on anything that's not worthy of, you know, the quality of who she is. You know, it's like the, sh the, the shadow queen is how I see the queen of rods and it's in the most beautiful ways. You know, it's like, she's holding the sunflower. She's holding this, um, you know, this limb of a tree or a cutting and <clears throat> It's, it's beautiful, you know, nature grows it itself, but it requires dirt, it requires nutrients, it requires, you know, digging holes and planting seeds and tending to the garden, pulling the weeds, like the queen and king of rods or, or wands, they are very attentive, right, to their inspired ideas and creations. And I'm seeing the page of wands here. It's like, you're always full of new ideas, inspired ideas. You have wonderful inspired ideas. You're very receptive to them. They just flow to you naturally. And um, positive change here. Let me lay these all out. Energy work, tarot, guidance, storm warning, perception. You're definitely someone who works really well with energy. And I feel like tarot is, a, you know, it's like with the guidance of tarot or divination, you're really in tune with your intuition, obviously very in tune. And the changes that you make in your life are always very positive. Your inspired ideas um, create positive change in the world, not just for yourself, but for the world at large. You may be a tarot card reader. You may have your own channel. You may um, find a lot of affirmation of your own intuition with tarot cards um, which is really beautiful. You really understand the energy. It's like, you know, when there's a storm of brewing, you're very in tune with the collective in the, in the terms of awareness so that you can stay focused on your inspired ideas. It's like when there's a storm and something's going down, the ideas come to you and like what to do. You don't freak out or like go. It's like, you understand it's all a part of life. And what do you, you know, what do we do? Storm rolls through. We take shelter. We, you know, we don't, freak out about it we just it's it's nature it's happening and then afterwards we go and we you know clean it up we rebuild something we do something new we don't cry about it and say oh it's you know gone forever and we're never getting it back like I feel like you're someone who's like okay we're going to rebuild the ideas are coming in and it's it's almost like exciting in a way and it allows you to stay focused on the positive beautiful um I want to say charismatic energy, you know, really feeling good, inspired, pumped up, like, let's do this. And it's just, it's really nice. You know, there's a, a an, abil an ability you have here to see the forest through the trees. Like, it's like, you're not just in the trees. Like, where am I? It's like, you know, if you're in the trees, you're, you're you know, what forest you're in, you know, what continent you're on, like, you know, what's going on. And you know it's simply a matter of truly shifting perspective. Like I feel like you can pick up on pick up on when someone hasn't really been through anything difficult. It's not really an energy that you can work with. It's like you appreciate your own energy, your own focus. You know how to transform the energy within yourself, which you know radiates outward. Okay, so it's like I don't see you running into any sort of energies that are disrupting your flow. Like you're very um very mature and refined in your own being with your own gifts, your own talents and how you receive, how you receive and affirm. It's like you receive effortlessly and you've really learned how to affirm your inspired ideas, your inspiration, your intuition, most importantly, like your intuition. And, and, and that is so empowering for your journey, for everything that you do. You may work with others in a very energetic way, which supports them and their well-being and they support you. And I feel like you learn a lot from each other. 
Um, and I feel like you inspire. It's like whoever you're in tune with unconsciously or consciously, either way, like it's like inside the soul, you're tuned into a consciousness that's very, um, it, you know, energy workers, people who really appreciate the life force energy and love and work. And, and, you know, we choose to learn and grow and be in balance and harmony with things. And, you know, even though we've been through some things in our life, it's like the wisdom is what we've really cultivated within ourselves. And it allows us to be the real change makers in this world, make positive changes in the world, um, and not go to, you know, not just lose hope and faith. Like you're someone who really inspires yourself and others and reminds people, you know, to stay positive. Even if we have to put some hard work in, it's not so much physical work as it is really in tune, being in tune with our, you know, receptive mode and our life force energy, how we receive and, you know, receiving the inspired ideas, not just the ideas out of fear. It's like, there's a, um, you're just very clear in that way. So this is the, the oracle card poem here this is from sacred nature reflections it's my new oracle deck that was inspired by all of you so let me read this poem here wisdom listen feel okay like a beautiful rain cloud dark and deep you are the wise wisdom you keep here with you now always forever guiding you onward no matter the weather Listen, hear, feel, know. Your heart reveals, so go slow. Take your time, grow. Be true to you, wise wisdom, you. So I really feel the wisdom. Like I feel the wisdom within you. I feel it radiating out of you. There's no rush. Like I, it's like you understand the dynamics of the way the energy flows and you are aligned with it. You allow the energy to guide you versus you trying to force any sort of energetic. It's like being in alignment with the flow of life, the energetic flow allows you to stay grounded and rooted in what you know to be true. And it actually creates positive change. It's like not so much about being positive as it is recognizing that you are life force energy and the changes that occur around you are positive because you're you're willing to see things like as they are right it's like you don't expect everything to be ra rainbows and roses <laughs> even though it is when you're in the flow right it's like you you recognize the depth of life and what it takes to build something really inspired really true you know working with the energies around you working with others um, tuning into the tarot and other divination me methods that really affirm your wisdom, affirm your intuitive knowings. And I'm seeing this here. It's like you are someone who guides people through whatever is happening, no matter the weather. It's like you are an inspiration, no matter what is going on. Somehow you receive these inspired ideas and, you know, I, I just feel like this leadership quality in you. I feel this leadership quality where you recognize it in within yourself and it does allow you to feel the ease of going slow, taking your time, seeing it as an everyday thing. You know, it's like I'm seeing the tarot, even like picking up on this, you know, tuning in every day to the tarot to really affirm and, and allow yourself to, um, nurture these inspired, wonderful feelings that you have inside of you no matter what you're you're adding you're feeling you're you're giving them nutrients and i feel like others are picking up on these inspired ideas around you as well i'm like i'm seeing the queen and the page here almost as like a mother son or this could be like you know it could, however the dynamic is but i feel like whoever you're intimately connected to it's like unconsciously intuitively they they can feel you know your inspiration and it allows them to receive inspired ideas as well which is a part of your energy work and healing like i feel like you are you recognize yourself you can see that you're an energy healer worker in some way you work with energies you understand energies you may be learning more about even weather you know and you know not being afraid of um anything really it's like trusting yourself trusting nature and trusting your own energy and like just understanding that when you're in alignment with your inspiration that no matter what you're contributing to the balance of you know the life around you to your own world to whatever it is um 
it's it's like there's a um, recognition here of how simple it is to shift your perception you know when you're in awareness when you're working with energy it's a matter of you know really reminding yourself to shift your perception what the truth actually is wisdom it's the wisdom that you've gained listening and feeling you know really being in your body trusting the wisdom that you know to be true feeling it you know listening to it and that's what allows you to move through so effortlessly so i feel a lot of um just beautiful balance and harmony here for you and i feel like there is some beautiful new inspired ideas that you're going to be implementing here in the future like it's just going to continue unfolding there's something coming to you like i feel like it's like you're not it's nothing you have to go after it's just something that's unfolding for you on a daily basis and it's building up every day and whatever um you know intuitions like if you're picking up on on disturbance in the field or any storm warning type of energy there's nothing to worry about like i feel like there's this energy of just you know you know to pull back you know to take shelter and not get involved in it and just wait for it to pass and allow things to play out and unfold as they will if you feel a storm around you it's just there's nothing we can do to stop it you know it's just simply a matter of being present staying focused on your inspiration and and reminding yourself that this is all for the best this is all for positive changes positive changes are happening you know it's it's like the earth for whatever reason has to stir things up sometimes and we have no control over it you know we don't know what exactly is happening whether it's the earth or the people in our lives like there's drama whatever's unfolding like it has nothing to do with you necessarily you all you need to know is that you're contributing to the peace and the wholeness and the inspiration the life force energy of whatever situation you're focused on or a part of and there's no reason for you to be in the middle of a storm like you're you'll have the signals the intuitive nudges to take shelter and and stay clear until the storm passes okay and then once the storm passes it's like you just know what to do you 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 see it all as positive you see life is never set in stone it's all about how we respond to it what we're what we're willing to um feed our you know our our focus on how we're willing to feed the energy that we want to see grow and, and be nurtured okay so wow this is beautiful i truly hope it affirmed what you know to be true for yourself um, always take what resonates leave the rest and i just feel like there's a lot of um growth happening for you here and your energy is very appreciated and it's like all of, it's like there's a um it says life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients so really trust in your healing energy those that you're working with um, you've been through you know some of the shadow elements you've learned about um, some of the unconscious darker natures of humanity through your own experiences and how to respond to those energies and love and transform them so there's a wisdom to you that is so appreciated and we feel it you know it strengthens our inner core it strengthens humanity's consciousness it strengthens the environments around us so you know it's like whatever storms play out they're happening for a reason and it's simply like seeing the energy um, you know if it's been stagnant or locked into something too long and it's not serving anymore, it just, you know, energy never dies. It simply transforms. So it's like, I feel like there's such a transformative energy to you that you, you know, whatever you're coming into contact with or thinking of or focusing on, um, you really inspire others to shift their perspective for the greater good, for the best. And you really affirm, I feel like you affirm other people's wisdom and knowings, which is you know, it's strengthening to our whole collective. So this is really beautiful. Expect to um, receive some new inspired ideas. Um, just listening right now. Listening right now is really important. There's not a lot you need to do as far as like talking or sharing. I feel like this energy right now is really asking you to receive and trust the process. And there's so much wisdom that um, <laughs> go slow, take your time and grow because you're like growing for the long haul. Like your life is growing into only beautifulness and beautiful energies and balance and harmony and whatever storms are happening in life. You're like the person that 
is going to be solid. It's not going to throw you off. You're just going to know it's, it's like, you're going to feel so supported no matter what's happening. And there won't be storms right over you anymore. It's like, they're just a part of life outside of you somewhere. Okay. I feel like this clarity within you. So this is really beautiful. Okay. Be true to you. Wise wisdom. You <laughs> thank you all so much. I truly hope this message resonated, affirm what you know to be true and just inspires you always to continue moving forward, being yourself. And thank you for contributing your fire, your passion, your inspiration to this world. I truly appreciate it. I know others do, and I'm right with you, you know, feeding this energy of positive change and shifting our perspectives when needed and affirming, you know, what we know to be true. So thank you also for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. I truly appreciate you all for that. And um, I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. You're all amazing. Continue taking really good care of yourselves, and I'll see you all for the very next pick a card. All my infinite love as always. Peace.